What is happening everybody and welcome to the Overly Gaming Project and in this video we are back in Fishing SimWorld Pro Tour and we are in the Bass Tour Career Mode and this is episode number 11. Alright, as you can see we have just started season 3 in the Bass Pro Tour. In the last episode we finished up season 2, we actually won the Bass Pro Tour Championship we kicked all the other fishermen's asses. We slapped them around with our fish. We caught so many fish, the other fishermen lost all their confidence. And three of them actually quit the tour. True story. All right, maybe not. There's no way of knowing that. But I'm sure some of those fishermen really hate their lives right now. So there's no way they can compete with us. So here we are, starting season three. We didn't have enough experience points to move into the Elite Bass Pro uh, Tournament. But we're getting there. So we have one more season to do here in the Bass Pro Tour before we can move up to the Elite Series. A net worth 422000 almost a half a million dollars. Total fish weight that we've caught in two seasons is almost 600 pounds. That's a lot. I mean, you guys ever seen that show, the 600, My 600 Pound Life? I mean, we've almost caught a total weight of fish equivalent to one of those big fat people. And look. I got nothing against big fat people, but I'm just saying, that's a lot of damn fish. All right, nothing's changed with our sponsors. We've got Sunline, Yum, Missile Baits, Rebel, and Enigma Fishing. They're paying us really good money. And speaking of sponsors, let's look at the event calendar. Starting off this season, we have three pro invitationals in a row. We have the Yum Pro Invitational, the Rebel Pro Invitational, and Missile Baits Pro Invitational. They're all one round each, 20 minute rounds, each one in a different lake. So we're gonna tackle the Yum Pro Invitational in this episode, and we're gonna catch ourselves some damn fish. All right, let's take a look at our tackle box we're using. It's the Scribble Special. On our spinning rod, we got the 48 Bubblegum Stick Worm. On our first Ducket Bait Caster, we got a Diving Crank Bait. It's a Rainbow Special. We're gonna test this one out today. And on the second Ducket Bait Caster, we have got the one and only Reflex Buzz Bait Black Plague. This catches some monster fish. All of these are on 14 pounds Sunlight Super FC Sniper. So let's go ahead and start fishing. Hi there, and welcome to the next event on the tour. With prize money and tour points up for grabs, there's a lot at stake for each of our competitors. So let's take a look at the rules ahead of today's competition. All right, pretty simple rules. Round one, total weight of bass. Let's go get them. All right, we're on Lake Guntersville, Alabama. We got some new fishermen on the scene. We got Ty Yanitani, Manuel Commendador. I mean, th these are serious fishermen. Look, Stefano Sebastiani. He's from Italy. They have really good pasta there in Italy. All right, round one, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go, get in the boat. All right, here we go. I have got yet another secret spot. I just found it in a practice session I just did. So let's take a look at the map, I'll show you where it is. All right, if you open up your map, we're gonna go to the middle point here. Now, if you remember from previous episodes, we have fished the lower point underneath the bridge. It's easy pickings, there's a bunch of bass there. We've done the top point right around the uh, boat docks. Um, there's some bass stacked up on, off a point up there. Now we're doing the middle one. And I'm going to show you guys what I just discovered. I caught my personal best, a 16-pound largemouth. Just, just a few minutes ago, before I started recording, I had done a practice in Lake Gunnersville here. So choose this middle one, follow along. I'll show you where to go. All right, we're gonna come underneath this little bridge. Woo, don't hit your head. And we are gonna head out to this factory thing. I'm not sure what kind of factory it is. It might be a nuclear power plant. They're putting all kinds of nuclear waste in the water. Who knows? It's making the fish really big. I like that. Don't touch them. Don't eat the fish that come out of here and, and you'll be okay. All right, there's a little cove right here. Look, head towards the plant and look at this. This little cove right back in here produces some big old fish. 
All right, so we're gonna come sort of to the mouth of this little cove here. All right, here we are. We're gonna cast right over there towards the shoreline. First up, it's the bubblegum stickworm. Oh, that's a 95% cast strength. That is pretty good. Now, if you remember, we'll let this thing sink. Put some tension on the line. We're in about seven feet of water. And just slowly start reeling this bad boy back. Now, it's pretty concerning. There were not any fish on the fish finder as we drove around here. Now, I'm not sure if that's an indication that because of the time of day it is, maybe all the fish are gone. Let's hope not. All right, we're about 20 yards from the boat. No takers yet. Usually this bubblegum stickworm catches a fish on the first cast. All right, well that cast was a dud and that makes me nervous. We are gonna go back over here. Just cast it towards the shoreline. That's a 97% cast strength. That's pretty good. We'll let this guy sink and then just start constant retrieval back on a level one, dragging that worm over all the little humps and bumps down at the bottom of the water. And if this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. And don't forget, help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers in here in 2020. And subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so that you're notified of all the content coming out. And if you like what you see in this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And leave me a comment down below. Well, this is pretty concerning. It is the second cast, and that was a dud. i tell you what we're going to do. I'm getting nervous. We're going to go with the buzz bait. Let's see if that does any better for us. All right, 97% cast strength. Now, the buzz bait, we're going to immediately start bringing back at a level 2. Level 2 retrieval here. All right, there we go. There's a fish on, fish on. That's a big one. That's a big one. Come on in the boat, baby. I look skimming right across the top water. Kind of looks like a small mouth, but it is not a bad size. Look at that thing. It's got a nice light color to it. I think it might be a small mouth. Oh, we don't want to lose him. Come on. Oh, he is feisty too. Look at him. Oh yeah, get in the boat. Oh yeah, that's a big old small mouth right there. Nice tiger stripe on his face. It's a five pound, 14 ounce small mouth bass on the buzz bait. All right, well, we know the buzz bait's working. Let's put it back in the water. All right, 95% cast strength. Remember, level two retrieval. As soon as it hits the water, start bringing it back to the boat. All right, we got our confidence back. I was, uh, I was sure there weren't any bass hiding out back here. All right, that cast was a dud. Let's try it again. Uh-oh, really bad cast. Whoops. All right, what the hell? We'll still bring it back. All right, no takers on that. Let's keep trying it. Cast it towards these rocks. 100% cast strength. That is perfect. 12 minutes and 20 seconds left in this Yum Pro Invitational. We currently are in 17th position with 5 pounds and 14 ounces. Tobias Berger in first place with 12 pounds, 3 ounces. Uh-oh. I'm not seeing any fish. That was another dud. We're going to try another cast out here, and then we're going to have to move the boat a little bit. All right, well, that one sucked. I'm going to try one more time. 92% cast strength. Not too bad. All right, come on, fishies. Somebody's got to look at this buzz bait. Come on, fishies. Nothing. There's not even any fish swimming up to this thing. All right, I think we scared all the fish away. All right, we're going to move just inside a little bit here. And we're going to go back to the bubblegum stickworm. We're going to try and cast it towards the shore. All right, 97% cast strength. All right, there we go, we're about five feet of water. All right, 35 yards from the boat. Maybe the uh, nuclear power plant scared all the fish away. There could have been some sort of nuclear reaction explosion thing, who knows? And we are slowly moving down the leaderboard here. We're now in 25th. Henry Lloyd, 13 pounds, 11 ounces in first place. Oh boy, that was a dud. I'll tell you what, we're gonna move a little bit closer here. And this is where I was sitting before when I caught my personal best. This is about where I was. 
All right, 97% cast strength. All right, now we're right off the shore, and this is exactly what happened when I caught that real big fish. We came from the shoreline in about a foot of water, and we just dragged that worm in through the shallows into about seven feet of water. And we were lifting it up and letting it fall. Oh man, this is not working. We are, we are slowly sinking here. Tell you what, let's try this uh, diving crankbait here. It's the rainbow special. All right, 95% cast strength. That's not too bad. And basically what you want to do is just slow retrieve this back. About a level two. Constant retrieval. Let it bounce off all the stumps and sticks and rocks down at the bottom of the water there. It's going to irritate those fish as it zooms on by their faces. All right, well, that didn't work. We're not going to give up, though. 100% cast strength. Here we go. All right, well, I'm really getting nervous here. We're going back to the buzz bait. And if this doesn't work, after about three casts, we're going to move. We're in 41st place. And that's not good. Yum is not going to be happy with us. They're one of our sponsors. And Jacques Blanchard in first place with 20 pounds of fish. Shit. And look, as you can see. Oh, my God. Look at the size of that. Look at the size of that fish. Oh, my God. Did you guys see that big-ass bass? That big-ass bass came up from the bottom of the water. That was a huge bass. Holy crap, we got to get that thing. You Tell me you guys saw that thing swim up to this buzz bait right at the end there. Oh, look at him, look at him. Come on, grab it. Come on, fish. He is staring right at it. Oh my god. There's a big catfish. We don't want the catfish. We want that bass. Oh man. Come on, bass. We saw him. Come on, fish. Oh, come on. I see him. Oh, he's swimming right by it. Oh, my God. What are we going to do here? How are we going to get him to take this buzz bait? Come on. Come on, fish. We're just going to keep trying. That's all we can do. Oh, man. We got three minutes left. We're in 48th position. Oh, man. I don't even see. Oh, here he is. There he is. There he is. He keeps coming up and looking at it. 97% cast strength. He keeps coming up and looking at this thing. Oh, he got it. Oh, fish on. Perfect strike. Perfect strike. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, that. There he is. There he is. We knew we just had to keep showing it to him. And eventually he'll take it. That's what she said. Look at the size of that guy. Oh, he is pissed. He is pissed. He's like, damn it, I knew it was a buzz bait. I shouldn't have taken it. But he couldn't help himself. Our presentation was on point. And so was he. Oh my god, look at that thing. That is the size of a whale. It's a whale. Alright, not really, but it's close. Alright, it's not really close, but it is a big fish. And he is fighting. He is fighting. He is pulling some serious drag. And he does not want to come in the boat. Come on, fishy. It's nice in the boat. It's a nice boat. This is a nice place to be, fishy. Better than being in the nuclear wastewater. I mean, come on now. Lower the drag. We do not want to lose this fish. This is... Oh my god, son of a bitch, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, 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 I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. We have 52 seconds left. That son of a bitch. That stupid ass fish was too heavy. Probably too heavy for our line. I mean, we got 14 pound test on here. That was probably 20 pound fish. Maybe not. Oh, there he is again. There he is again. He's looking at it. We're going to get him again. Maybe not. Oh, he followed it right to the boat. Come on, damn you fish. 22 seconds. We're not going to catch him. 
Come on, fish. 13 seconds. I just want to get him one more time. Just, I mean, look at him swimming around in there. These are the kind of fish you catch at this spot. Four seconds, three seconds. Three, two, one, shit. We caught five, we caught one, fi one fish, a small mouth. Five pounds, 14 ounces. We finished 50th. That sucks. That's all right, though. This event does not count towards the tour. It's basically just for bragging rights and money. Well, we tied for 50th because we sucked. And that's all right. All the other fishermen are probably laughing at us. The last season's champion comes out and absolutely craps himself in this e event. Well, we got 50th position. We got no money. That sucks. Well, nothing's really changed. Our stats hasn't changed. Our money hasn't changed. We got the same damn sponsors. The only thing that changed is that we sucked ass at the Pro Invitational for Yum. All right, if we take a look at the next event, it's the Rebel Pro Invitational. Hopefully we don't uh, go out on the water at Lake Johnson and crap ourselves and look like an idiot in front of another sponsor. This one is uh, during the uh, afternoon and it's heavy rain at Lake Johnson. So I'll tell you what, we're going to go practice. And we're going to come back in the next episode and we're going to go on Lake Johnson and we're going to slay some bass. I promise you. All right, I can't make any promises, but I'm going to try my best. The Rebel Pro Invitational next episode. Join me right back here at the Overly Gaming Project. If you like what you saw, leave a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Give me some confidence boosters. Give me a pep talk. Let me know we can do it. But come on right back here in the next episode here at the Overly Gaming Project. And we are going to catch ourselves some fish in the Rebel Pro Invitational. I need your support. I need your help. Subscribe to the channel. Help me reach a thousand subscribers here in 2020. It's going to help me catch more fish. All right, maybe it won't, but it will make me feel good. And don't forget, hit that bell notification so that you're notified of all the content coming out. Honestly, though, I really appreciate all the support that the channel's getting. I appreciate all the support that this series is getting. And I appreciate you letting me be a part of your day. And I'll see you in the next video.